Lesson 4.6, Multiply Fractions. The objective of this section is to multiply fractions and mixed numbers, and we will be using our handy dandy triangle again. So um, you might want to draw that on your paper just to remind yourself that you are going to be using that. Example 1, we have 1 half times 1 third, and this is going to look just like it would have um, in, gosh, probably fourth grade, fifth grade when you started learning about basic fractions. So you're going to take your numerators and do 1 times 1 is 1, and 2 times 3 is 6. 1 sixth, can that be reduced? It cannot. So I circle it, and 1 sixth is my correct answer. Number two, we get a little trickier. We have a whole number as well as a negative fraction. So the first thing we need to do is make the whole number a fraction. So we do that by writing it as 2 over 1. It is still 2. It's just a way of writing a whole number as a fraction. So 2 over 1 times a negative 3 fourths. And I always put that negative sign up with the numerator. It just makes it easier for us to go ahead and multiply. I'm going to look across, and I can cross-reduce here. 2 goes into 4 two times. So then I take 1 times negative 3 is negative 3, and 1 times 2 is 2, so I get negative 3 halves. You can also make this a mixed number. Say 2 goes in to 3 one time with 1 left over, so it would be negative 1 and a half. But I am totally okay with just leaving it as an improper number. Number three, I have two sevenths times negative three eighths. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, cross reduce if I can. And two goes into eight four times. So this becomes a four. This becomes a one. Then I multiply straight across. So one times negative three, that's a positive and a negative. So I'm going to get a negative three. And 7 times 4 is 28. And then I say to myself, does 3 go into 28? It does not. This cannot be reduced at all. So I circle it, and negative 3 28 is my answer. Number 4, I'm going to make all my mixed numbers improper. It makes it so much easier. So example 4, I have 1 half times 4 and 2 fifths. So I'm going to change that to 1 half times... 4 times 5 is 20, plus 2 is 22 fifths. And then I cross reduce, so 2 goes into 22 11 times. 1 times 11 is 11. 1 times 5 is 5. I can circle that. That cannot be reduced any further. I can make it a mixed number. 5 goes into, 10, um, 5 goes into 11 2 times which is 10, with 1 left over, so it becomes 2 and 1 fifth. Number 5, I'm going to make these improper. It just makes it way much, so much easier to work with. So I take 1 times 8, which is 8. 8 plus 7 is 15. So I have negative 15 eighths times. Again, I'm going to make it improper. So I take 2 times 5 is 10, plus 2 is 12. And that's a negative as well. So I have negative 15 eighths times negative 12 fifths. And then I'm going to look and I'm going to cross reduce. 5 goes in to 15 three times, so it should become a negative 3. I would never change the sign. When I'm cross reducing, I never change the sign. So it just stays a negative, so it's negative 3. And this became a 1. And then um, 4 goes into both 8 and negative 12. So um, 8 divided by 4 would be 2, and negative 12 divided by 4 would be negative 3. Then I have a negative 3 times a negative 3, so you could think a negative times a negative equals a positive. Or you could just um, circle my negative, and negative 3 times negative 3 is a positive 9, and 2 times 1 is a positive 2. And that's in its most reduced form, so I circle it. Or I could say 2 goes into 9 4 times, which is 8 with 1 left over, so I could get 4 and a half as a mixed number. 
Number six, I have five and one third times three. So I'm gonna make five and one third improper and then I'm gonna make three a fraction. So five and one third as an improper fraction would be five times three is 15 plus one. So I'm gonna have 16 thirds times three over one. And then the three and the three cancel each other out and it just becomes a one. 16 times one is 16. One times one is one. 16 divided by one is 16, so I circle it and that's my final answer.